Hello everyone. Welcome to the Arduino practical series using Tinkercad. In this session, we will study the program with servo motor. Motor. So this is Arduino. We uh, we we interface this servo motor with this particular uh, Arduino. There are three pins, and we connect these three pins. One with A1, the other with VCC, VCC with five volt, and the other one with the ground. So first, let us. Simulate this on Tinkercad, and then I will explain the code. So now we are into a Tinkercad. Let us select the Arduino first. So this one, sorry, Arduino, you know this one. Select this one. Then next, uh, we need we need to select the servo motor for this particular practical. So here we can see micro servo, and we have to select this one. We select this one here. We keep it here. So now what we do is we just turn it around. Click here. Okay, we keep it in this position. Now next we do the connections. Now this micro servo motor has three connections. If we click, if we just put the so this, we have this. This is the signal. This is the power, and this is the ground. So in our case, we give the signal from A1 pin A1 of analog. So I just put it here. Just connect this A1. This is A1. Then this one, as we can see, it is power. So it needs five volt power supply. This is five volt power supply. And then finally, we this is ground, so we can have this ground connection here. This is the ground connection. So connection is very simple. Either this or any any ground will do. So this is the ground. Now we'll just color, change the color of the wire. So because this is power supply, we make it red. And because this is ground, we make it black. It is not compulsory, but we do this. So this is the simple connection we we have done. Now let us write the code. I have copied the code. I'll just paste the code here. Then I will explain the code afterwards. So click on text, continue. So there will be something here. Just take it. I'll just paste the code here. This is our required code. So this is the code. I will explain the code afterwards. Let us first run this particular code. So we just start the simulation. As you can see, this particular motor is running. It is moving around. So, because we have in our pro in our code, we have set the motion by 10 degrees, so it is moving by 10 degrees. We can even change this. I'll show how we can change. I'll just stop the simulation. And in the code part, as you can see, in the code part, we are running this particular for loop. So, if I make this as uh, 20 degrees. It will move more faster. So this is the way. This is the point where we do the change, and we can again start. Now, as you can see, it is moving by 20 degrees. So this is how we perform this. Now I explain the code now. So this is the very simple code which we have used in our in our program. So the very first is uh, include servo dot h. So this is the we include this servo library. Built-in library for Arduino, and then uh, next is servo servo base. So uh, what we do is create a servo object and assign it to a specific name so that we can actually access it. Then in the next step, what we do is specify the pin which we which has to be used uh, for this servo. So we use this A1 pin for servo. So we have behind this ob object here. So we are actually accessing this attach A1, and then. Servo base dot write. So set the servo motor to the zero degree. So write zero means what we are setting. We are starting with zero degrees. If we write any particular angle, it can be set from zero to one eighty any degree. So we are starting from zero degree. Then this particular loop, in this uh, particular case. So what we are doing, we are actually sweeping the servo from zero to one eighty degrees. In step of 10 degrees, so what it will start from i equal to i equal to zero up to i equal to 180. So this particular motor it only moves from zero to 180 degree. There are of course 
motors which can move around entire 360 degree but this only moves up to 180 degrees so we are setting this from i equal to 0 to 180 and in the steps of 10 degrees we can even change this to 20 if we change this to 20 to move in the steps of 20 degrees so what it does the, the next step it set the servo to the current angle so whatever i is it starts from 0 as we also set as 0 so it starts from 0 and then moves in steps of 10 and there is a delay of 2000 milliseconds there is 2 seconds so after every 2 seconds it moves with an angle of 10 degrees so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching like share subscribe and comment